Alright fuckers, welcome back to the Hearts of Midlothian 2018 Football Manager Career Mode. Last time out we secured the second place in our first season in the league. That's fantastic, no doubt about it. An incredible achievement. You can never take that away from us. But today we've maybe got a chance to do something even better. And that is going to be secure the first piece of silverware for the club. It's Scottish Cup final day. We're taking on Dundee. Uh, I sold out Hamden, at least I, did, ho I hope it's sold out. I want at least 30,000 of our fans there to watch us lift the trophy. Now, we're not going to be without Kyle Lafferty, which kind of does suck. He is a top goal scorer this season, 34 goals in all competitions, and he is our highest average rated player as well with a 7.41 rating. So, um, definitely, it's a big blow to be without him. But we've got lots of good players, man. We can, I'm pretty sure... There's players that can come in, take over his role, and do a decent enough job. Uh, he's also got the most Man of the Match awards this season with seven. So like I say, it's a massive blow to not have Kel Laffert here. But we'll give it our best shot, man. Pretty sure Dundee are without a few players as well. So, I mean, both both teams here not f got a fully uh, fit team to pick from. And we'll just have, we'll have no excuses. We'll just get stuck in, try our best, and hopefully we'll be... Scottish Cup champions after the 98 minutes. Uh, yeah, there you go. Kill Lafferty just not able to play. I wish he was, but injuries just can't do it. So, got a choice between. We'll put Maitland Niles. We'll put him now. We've only got. Nah, Maitland Niles is no place for him on the bench. We've got a buoy. I don't know, man. Who are we going to start here? Who are we going to start? Like, I'm looking at this team we've got here, and that's pretty much looking probably like the team we should go with. Unless I go with Walker up front, which I don't think that would be risky changing things. Um, I'm looking at perhaps what what could we do here? I'll try and mix. We got Shuhum. Should should Shuhum play? Or I am not quite sure. Aaron Hughes is another possibility. You've got Harry Cochran could play. Um, I'm looking at the condition. I'm looking at the match sharpness. I think the, our current starting eleven is probably the best team that we have. Uh, got Hamilton has been playing all right at the moment. 6.82 rating. I think we're going to go with Jack Hamilton and Nets. And uh, yeah, I think that's the team we're going to go with. And then obviously, if need be, we'll obviously we've got our substitutions to you, yeah, choose from. But yeah, man, we're going to go with this team. Fuck it, why not? It's been they've been playing well all season. I've, I've mainly used this eleven. Obviously, we've normally got Kyle Laffey up front, but this is probably our most dominant eleven. The eleven that I most frequently pick. So we're going to stick with them and hopefully they reward us with a trophy. Alright, so there is the lineup for the massive game today. We're going with Hamilton, Randall, Suter, Berra, Smith, Brown, Nowak just in front of them, Shuhum in the middle of the park, a front attacking midfield trio of Broadhead, Windass and Jamie Walker, and obviously Ismail up front instead of Kel Lafferty. Dundee are going with Bain, Hendry, Kadasag, Waddell, Artunen, Deacon, O'Hara, Spence, Martin Boyle, Kevin Higginbottom, Kenny Higginbottom is it? And then L. Ba I can fucking name, try to pronounce that name. L. Bakatoe, or Bakatoe. He's been good for them all season. Um, I think Dundee are going to give us a better game here than probably a lot of people are expecting. And they, they are actually in the relegation playoff, and they did lose five days ago to Dundee United in the relegation playoff battle. They lost 3 0, so I mean, you don't know how that's going to affect them here. It could have a massive effect on their confidence, and they might just shatter today, or they could have some like bounce back ability and really take the game to us. So it's going to be a strange one to see how it goes. 1500 kickoff at Hamden. It's going to be light showers. And I'm hoping that the rain doesn't affect us too much. Uh, we're going to be passionate. The trophy's on the line here. Go out and show everyone your natural born winners. We've had a great season. And I'd love to end it on a high. I truly do. But I'm not saying our season's going to be ruined here. But I think it'd be massively disappointing if we finished second, got to the Scottish Cup final, and then lost to Dundee. You could maybe, you know, if you lost to a Celtic, a Rangers, or something like that, you could maybe look past it. But Dundee are 11th in the league. And we're second, so... No, I mean, we're, we're like the second best team. They're the second worst team. Surely, we have to finish the season on a high here and get the win and get the trophy. Ten minutes in, though. Not much happening. Just the one shot from us. And nothing from Dundee.
Right, it's Randall to Walker. We're coming forward here. Walker plays to Shuhum in the middle of the park. Broadhead. So Smith Brown on the overlap. Didn't choose to use on Berenu. Broadhead. Smith Brown still out wide. Finally gets the ball, but not in as much space as he was. It's Broadhead. Oh, it's a poor pass back. It's Ismail. 1 0. Hearts take the lead. And that is fucking shocking there. I don't know. Was it, was it Gasolov or. I think it was Gasolov, the Dundee defender. Tried to pass it back to the keeper. It was horribly short. Uh, Eastmile managed to get the interception and he puts us 1-0 up with 17 minutes gone. Not the start Dundee we're looking for. I mean, we've been great going forward this season. Our attacking power is phenomenal. We don't need help to score. And Eastmile there almost putting us to... He does! Eastmile, two goals in a minute. Two goals in about 20... Fucking... No, all right, well, not 20 seconds. Getting a bit carried away there. But yeah, two goals in less than a minute. And surely... Already, the game is looking as if it's beyond Dundee. 20 minutes in, uh, we've had six shots, six shots on target. Dundee yet to register a single shot. It is not looking good for them. It's looking very good for us here. We've got 60% of possession. We're passing the ball around well, holding on to the ball, dominating the game. And uh, it looks like two goals Dundee honestly could have avoided. The first goal, obviously, they gifted us it, and then that second goal there. Uh, just looked like poor defending, if, if you ask me, but I'm not going to complain. We're in the driver's seat, 2-0 up here, 30 minutes gone. Things are looking very good. Uh, Eastmile there, we're wondering, could he come in and take the place of Kyle Lafferty? Well, he's, he's shown today that he can, and maybe he's, maybe Kyle Lafferty is going to have to fight for that position once he comes back. Eastmile's putting in a tremendous performance today. Walker with the free corner, Suter with the header. It is 3-0 here with 41 minutes gone. Sort of celebrating with the fans. And already, man, this game is over. Uh, they could just give us a cup at half time and we can all go home early. Because there's really no need to play 90 minutes of this. Dundee are just... They've been humiliated. Just the one shot in that first half. It's 3-0 and there's no way that we're going to be stopped in this match. Um, team talk... Obviously, I will, I'll tell them not to get complacent or whatever, but um, don't get complacent. John Suter seemed to lose confidence. I don't know why. I'll give him assertive. I'm very happy with your performance today. Keep it up. And now he looks happy, so that's good. There you go. We're all happy. Everyone's happy. Free now. I'm happy. The players are happy. The fans are happy. And Budge is probably happy. Um, I don't know if Dundee are happy, I'd assume they're not, they're probably putting up the rope right now, about to end it all, um, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure the referee, if they just wait, the referee will end it in the next like 40 minutes, so there's no need to do anything too rational, Dundee. Um, yeah, so <laughs> go we're creating more chances, more shots, but Dundee, I've got absolutely nothing to offer in return, it's Eastmile out wide now, crosses it in towards Walker, heads it back to Shuhum, Shuhum, what? oh my god! What a folly that was, off the post. And that would have been probably one of the goals of the season I've had in Shum almost scoring a Scottish Cup goal there. Wonder goal to remember, but not quite this time denied by the post. And that post has had a better game than Scott Bain. Uh, I'm sorry, Scott Bain. I had to say that because it's been true, man. You've been absolutely shite today. It's wind ass now, looking for the overlap. Randall made it, didn't find the pass. Walker now back to... Oh, man, it's, they're passing too quickly. I can't even can pronounce the names or acknowledge the names even and Scott Bain finally makes a save 10 shots to Dundee's one and it's right about now Dundee are probably going to have to go for it they haven't made any substitutions yet which I think is surprising I would have probably made all three at half time and, or maybe they've just accepted defeat here because they're doing absolutely nothing and with half an hour to go 3 now, and Dundee are <laughs> They really do look like a team that is going down. I mean, I'm looking at the players-wise, and I think the squad's probably all right to be in the Scottish Premiership, but today they've just not been at it. And I, I find it hard to imagine they're going to turn around that 3-0 deficit in the first leg to Dundee United in that relegation playoff. But enough about that. Let's get back to the Scottish Cup final. It's 3-0. It's, it's game over, really. There's not much I can say. Shahoom to Broadhead. Can we make it 4 it's crossed into Ismail, and it is the hat trick. Ismail Kel Calves coming in. Can he replace Kel Lafferty? Of course they can. Guy's been on fire. Completes his hat trick. Third goal of the day. 
Uh, they assist Vinay from Broadhead and now Dundee making changes. Bringing on all three players. It's uh, Alan, Vincent and Kerr coming on. But I believe that is far too late for substitutions, man. They could do it. And unless they're going to be bringing on like Ronaldo, Messi and Neymar, then uh, the Dundee fans should probably start heading home now, get on the bus, and you can try and beat the traffic here because there's no way you're beating hearts. Traffic's the only thing that's going to get beat today. Uh, 15 shots to one hole, that's awful. Dundee, just one shot in 81 minutes. That's it's, uh, it's, a, it's a performance that could get you the sack, let's put it that way. I'll be very surprised if the Dundee manager, whoever it is, it's Jim Duffy. Is it, no, it's, no, it's not Jim. It might, no, it might be Jim Duffy actually. I think it is Jim Duffy. Uh, with this hot, well, they've managed to get a shot on target there, just towards the end of the game. And I think that, that I'll be very surprised if. And there you go, full time whistle, guys. We've done it. We've won the Scottish Cup. Um, I'd love to f sound a bit more excited about it, but it's just the fact that the game was over really in the first twenty minutes. Unbelievable. There you go. We're celebrating. That's nice to see. Look at that. The maroon, white maroon. Um. Graffiti or confetti, confetti, graffiti, confetti <laughs> floating about the sky. That's what we want to see. And uh, it was a terrific performance for us. And it is one that we will remember for a very long time. Obviously, we need to go and congratulate the players because they did their part well. And I'm very uh, pleased with the result and the performance. Enjoy your guys' cup. You deserve it. And, I mean, what, what a season, guys. They finished second, which is practically... Winning the league, let's be honest. I mean, we're we're a bit away from challenging Celtic, so for us to finish second, that to me that's like the best we could have done in the league, and we won the Scottish Cup. So I'm absolutely delighted, man. It could not have went any better. Honestly, don't believe that. And you see, key player was Christoph Berra in the Scottish Cup. He got an average rating of seven point nine eight. And Hearts left the Scottish Cup, our first trophy, hopefully the first of many. And it was just complete domination there. Dundee will want to forget about that one. Passionate. Uh, yep, yep. The squad is capable of going on and becoming a real force. Uh, my vindication of my management. Uh, Cam. Uh, I'm absolutely delighted to win this competition. Uh, it was absolutely tremendous. The whole squad is on a massive high. And Christoph is no better. Christoph better is no different. Heart Scottish Cup bonuses get paid out. So... The following bonuses have been paid as a result of Hart. So Walker, Windass and Suter are all getting bonuses for winning the Scottish Cup. I'm not quite sure why they're getting bonuses and other players aren't. I guess they must have just had it in their contract. And we've been given an extra 60k for winning against Dundee in the Scottish Cup final. Cool praise by Hart supporters. That's what I want to see, man. They love me here. Hart's board happy with the Scottish Cup. So they should be. It's been a while since we've won the Scottish Cup. When was the last time we won it? It was back in 2011-2012 season. And, uh, yeah, it's nice to see us winning it again. And you, know, you see confidence with the board is sky high at the moment. I could probably go out and murder and budge and uh, paint the stadium green. And they still would have confidence in me. That's that's how good things are going at the moment. Concalves, ha I've, got to have to, I've got to praise the guy. I mean, he's got, he got a hat-trick. You know what I mean? Cut, cut, Scottish Cup final. How can I just ignore that? Squad bonuses are getting paid out. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Scottish Cup review... Um, runners up Dundee, biggest overachievers Air, biggest underachievers Celtic. So there you go. Uh, overall, man, that was very, very good. And I am delighted that we've won, we've won that Scottish Cup, man. Absolutely fantastic. All right, so our, our scouts get back to us. John Murray giving us potential players that we could sign. This guy actually looks like he's going to be good. I recommend scouting at Malambi. Um, you know what? We'll yeah, we'll acknowledge this. We'll will we add him to a short list or who's he play for? Who's he, um, contract to Al Ali, South African. We will we'll keep on scouting him. I think for the meantime, yeah, we'll scout him because he looks like he's gonna be a decent player. This guy looks like he's gonna be very good as well. Hold on, why is he plays for Farona, Argentinian? Uh, a middle, ball winning midfielder. To be honest, we probably don't need anybody in that position, but we will, we'll, we'll okay, keep scouting him as well. Those two, those, those two players do look decent, man. Maybe we will bring them in. Anyway, Hearts End of Season Awards. Hearts Annual End of Season Awards ceremony took place at Tencastle last night. Below is a summary of the night's awards winners. So, fans player of the season, Kel Lafferty. Uh, what do you expect, really? He's been great for us. No, I'm not surprised that he got it with 52, more than half of the uh, voting. Kill Lafferty got that's, that's crazy. 
52%, Jamie Walker in second with 22 and Christoph Berra in third with 16. Goal of the season went to Don Cowie against St Johnston. Um, if I remember correctly, it was a good goal. Do we want to see it again? Yeah, sure, why not? We'll have a quick look at it. To see if he truly did deserve it or not. Well, he didn't actually start the match, so he must have come on as a sub. I actually can't remember this. Couldn't have been that good a goal, because if it, if, it if it was a wonder goal, I think I would have remembered what it was like. But, um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've loaded the highlights here, and it doesn't appear to be coming on. So did I close this, or what? Or is it going to... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Is Kerry picking the ball up now? Is he going to turn around is a buoy to Windass? Windass, a buoy, Kerry... Oh, that is a great goal, man. That's fantastic. Aye, ah, man, that's a beast. You know what? I can't complain with that, Don Kirby. Oh, look at that. He even does a, a nice wee uh, front handstand as well, man. So, yeah, Don Kirby definitely deserving that award. Signing of the season, Josh Windas. Well, yes, definitely no surprise from Rangers for only 82k, man. Fantastic. And young player of the season, Jamie Walker. Whether you can argue he's young anymore, I'm not quite sure. Or... Shut up, cat. Um, best team of the season was McLaughlin, Smith, Brown, Suter, Berra, Randall, Nowak, Shahoom, Malinka, Fitch, Walker, Windass, and Kelafi. And that basically was my main starting 11 when fully fit. And some of the stats Lafferty, top goal scorer, and highest rated player. Most assists, Jamie Walker. Best pass completion was Maitland Niles. Ashley Brown picking up the most yellow cards, and Berra picking up the most red cards. We just won, so. Yeah, Hearts 2017-18 season review. Hearts had been expected to claim a top half finish, and they did that. I think we did more than that, let's be honest. And uh, yeah, so we didn't start off the best. Like, if you look at that, man, our, our form was pretty poor at the beginning. I thought we were going to get sacked. And from this stage, I'd have probably took a top six finish. But to somehow get into the top six and then finish second, look at that. Once we got second, we never relinquished it. We, we were second, like, all the way through, man. Amazing stuff there. Fantastic. Uh, bet Fed Cup losing the second round of Partick was a, a bit of disappointment, but we'll move on from that. Match of the season, a 3-0 win against Aberdeen, that was great. Moment to forget, yeah, that Ross County, that 5-1 defeat at Ross County. But, yeah, I remember we were going through a real period here where we just couldn't get anything away from home. Kind of similar, like, in real life, we were just absolutely terrible when we weren't at Tynecastle. And that 5-1, that could have got me sacked, that, to be honest, because that was an awful result. But, you know what, fair play, we bounced back for that, we got second. Everything is good in the hood. Average attendance, 17,854, 89% full. Very good there. Total players used, 25, and that was the joint fifth highest in Ladbrook's Premiership. Squad dynamic. I put together a report on the changes in the club's dynamics over the last year. Things can change a lot in a year, so I'd advise you to keep uh, an eye out for any significant shifts within the club's hierarchy uh, uh, social groups. So... Dressing room atmosphere excellent. It's went up. Players are enjoying playing together, are pulling in the same direction, and should have no cause for complaint or anything other than the most serious of issues. Managerial support, and that's been excellent as well, and that's went up. So, team leaders Lafferty, Berham, Walker, no surprise. Highly influential players Hughes, Don Kirby, Shahum, Sutter, East Malcolm, Galvez. Influential players Bobby, McLaughlin, Smith Brown. Uh, yeah, so there you go, man. Everyone seems to be happy enough, and um, we'll take that, man. End of season team meeting. Right, let's. We want to get this right. We definitely want. Don't want to fuck this up. So let's see here. What do we want to go with? Uh, the season is over, and it's time for you all to go and have a well deserved break. I want everyone, one of you, fully rested, because we're going to win the title next. Fuck, I wish. Um, the season is finished. I think we can finish in the top half next year. Okay, top half. Mid table. Um, so it's either top half or win the title. You know what? We're just gonna go top half because win the title is just totally. Uh, it's not. You can't. It's unrealistic. You can't really expect that. And everyone seems happy enough with um the expectations. So yeah, we're, we're happy with that. That's exactly what I was after. Some players not happy are Bobbin. Christoph Berra, Jamie Walker, I don't know why they're not happy, Josh Windass, 
Do they maybe want to try and win the title? Are they not happy with I, I don't, That could be it. A lot of our better players here seem unhappy with what I just said there, so... I mean, that's pretty shit. Um, obviously, I, I'm not, I, I wouldn't be happy with a 6th place finish. I'm not top 6 is not what I'm after. I think if we could finish 2nd again next year, or 3rd even, and get European football, that would be, you know, about right for us. But um, I'm surprised the players actually took it so bad. Pre-season, pre-season, when are we going to start? I'm going to give them a, a long time off, 5 weeks, because like I say, we will be playing Europe, Europa League qualifiers as well, and the, the rest of the World Cup on, so... I'll give the players as much time to rest as possible. Alright, and we're going to end the episode here with some boring stuff. The financial aspect. So here we go. Hearts hit with tax bill. Uh, not good. 725k. Uh, club membership fee announced. We brought in 1.64 million. That's pretty good. Commercial summary. Uh, corporate hospitality is up. Match day commercial and retails up. Broadcast and revenues up. Competition prize money is up. And we made a shitload of money. Um, selling shirts, and you can see the highest shirt sellers were Lafayette, Shahoom, Niles, Walker, and Eastmal. So, not doing too bad there. We'll few the finances, and then you can see overall balances. Uh, it's a bit down, but we'll, we'll do alright there. We've done well with that money we've brought in, so that will help us. Uh, transfer budget for this season, I'm hoping will be up. It's 1.6 million there. If that's true, if that's what we're getting this year, then fan fucking tastic. We'll be bringing in. A lot of good players then. But uh, yeah guys that's going to do it then. For this episode. Next time out I'll be doing a more in depth review of the season. And obviously we'll be covering the World Cup as that takes place. And then after that it will be start of the new season. We'll be trying to bring in some players. And we'll begin underway with our first game in Europe. But yeah, until then guys thanks for watching. It's been great man. Second place and a Scottish Cup bloody trophy. Can't complain with that guys. Can't you complain with that. You all said I was shite, you all said I didn't deserve to uh, manage hearts, but I've just proved it man, whether it be on FIFA 18 or Football Manager 2018, I'm, I'm the man, I'm definitely the man, better than Craig Lafina anyway, that's for sure, until next time though, peace.